Um, I would just say, you know, we're happy to be here. Um, really happy for our team. I think they've done a great job. We've had a, a it, you know, everyone has a long season. It starts in September, and now here we are in March, and, and we're happy to be playing in March. I think our team's doing a lot of things really well right now, and we're playing very well together. Uh, these three up here are, um, you know, playing good basketball. They're a bunch of players who play together, and um, team offense, team defense is kind of what got, what's gotten us this far. Um, so we're, we're happy to be here in Corvallis. We've had a good time here before this time of year, and so we're hoping to kind of repeat that um, in a different way, of course, than we, we did it the first time, a different team. Um, but, you know, looking forward to the games tomorrow and then hopefully going forward. Question for players. We have a lot of us, Mike, here. Okay. For any of the players, have you heard about, uh, heard from some of the players on that 2015 team and, and the, the success they had here? Uh, and, and any advice they've given you? Um, I've heard from Emma Wolfram. She obviously had a, an amazing game here at Oregon State, and she just said enjoy every moment. And obviously, you know, it's kind of do or die right now, but uh, just st stick with the team, and uh, good things should happen. We have good history here. You heard from any of them? Yeah, um, I've heard from, you know, Shaniqua, Ellie, um, those players really just making sure that we live in the moment. I mean, like Chandler was saying, we're kind of in the, the one and done stage now in the postseason. So just making sure that we give it our all. Uh, for any of the players, how has uh, how has practice gone for you guys? Obviously, personnel has, has changed a little bit, but uh, still got to play five on five, right? Uh, <laughs> um, it's different. I know we're down two players, but uh, we're still working just as hard in practice. And we've had a great week of practice, getting ourselves ready for this weekend. Um, but they get a heavy dose of Coach Craig and Coach Stacy yeah. and Coach Jordan um, <laughs> since Laura and Jill are out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for Zykara and, and Chandler, uh, senior year, and like you said, one and done. I mean, this is this is it. Uh, you lose and you go home. But uh, what's this season meant to you and you uh, as far as the success? And and, uh, and now here we are in March. Like Coach said, this this is a six month process. Um, you know, I think that. When you come to college, everybody wants to be a part of something special, part of a special team, and um, everyone wants to be a part of a legacy. And I feel like um, this year's team has done a, just a really good job of like staying focused and playing and um, making it through adversity and just really trying to do everything we can to uh, keep the ball rolling as far as um, how great this program has been um, the past so many years. So I think it's been really cool. It's hard to go after Z, which <laughs> I kind of say I second that. Um, no, it's been an awesome year, and for it to be our senior year, I think it's been incredibly special. Like Z said, we just kind of want to keep on building Gonzaga's legacy and kind of leave a mark here and um, have the same for future teams coming through, too. So it's been an amazing year. Uh, for Coach, uh, I want to talk a little bit about that trip four years ago. I mean, it was your first year. You guys weren't a, an automatic qualifier. Uh, you had to sweat that out a little bit and get an 11th seed, and, and you kind of did quite a quite a job here. Uh, when that bracket was revealed last week, what were your, your thoughts about coming back here? Um, you know, the first thing was more about our seed. You know, what seed we were going to get. We didn't know after our tournament, um, not winning the, ch the championship, what the seed was going to be. And then the, the next thought goes to, the team you're going to play and the draw and the matchups and um, you know trying to strum up we don't have a ton of familiarity um, with little rocks just because we haven't our paths haven't crossed um, too often and then we started to think about you know the the, the times we had down here before and you know everyone says well we've we've had success there before and you know we've also been plenty of places where we've had success and it's obviously not a given but and the, the people in Corvallis have been very supportive. You know, we, we have a relationship with uh, the Oregon State coaching staff and the Boise State coaching staff. And, um, you know, so that part is nice. I, I think there's a lot of Gonzaga alums from down here. But um, overall, I have fond, fond memories of that year. I will always remember it. Um, those players played extremely hard for us that year, harder than I think they had played in their years prior for whatever reason. I don't know if it was just because um, they were pulling for us, you know, they wanted it for us or each other or what it was. And I actually think that they're different, but there are some similarities to this team and this senior class as far as um, their, we've been a cohesive group. And again, we've 
overcome stuff from the beginning of the season to the end. And um, we've been really trying to harp on that you control what you can control, uh, what you can control. Um, and, you know, these guys have an opportunity to come down here and have the same, rewrite the storybook a little bit differently, but kind of have create their own memories. And um, certainly not a thing where I come down here and I think, oh gosh, remember last time we were there? Or, you know, nothing like that. So very different scenario, very different situation, very different matchup. There's so many things that are different. Um, but I do feel like these guys are pulling for each other and pulling for us as a staff and as a group in the same way that that first team did. I think that's kind of the Gonzaga way, but eerily similar in some ways. You talk about building this program. I know those players, you helped recruit them, of course, but that was you know, it's your first year uh, taking over for Kelly. And none of these players were there in 2015. Um, can you talk a little bit about building that program in, you know, in your own way? Yeah. Um, well, we've done stuff similarly. You know, we, we, as far as X's and O's go, I think that Coach Graves and I have different leadership styles. Um, but, you know, we're, we try to love them hard and still make sure that they know when they're not doing what we have asked them to do or not doing what we need them to do or expect them to do. Um, so we, we still try to be tough on them. But, you know, we're continuing to try to develop leaders and develop cohesive team um, mentality and – uh, you know, it's been a process just, just kind of to transform and change the things that we did want to change. I, I can't even pinpoint because we had done a lot of great stuff and, you know, I had a heavy hand in that. We've talked about that for years, right, that I was, me and Kelly and Jody and Michelle or whoever the other assistant was at the time, we worked well together. Um, but with uh, Jordan and Stacy and Craig, I think that we, we approached it a little bit different. We work just as hard, but the personalities maybe or the collection has been different, but we, we have the same outcome. We have great, we attract great student athletes. I think a lot of these players on this team, we would have recruited back in the day, just the same as we recruited them when it was our, our staff and um, trying to coach them to play for, play for each other and not necessarily each other. And that whole thing where, you know, care more about, you know, team success than others. We're talking about friendship right now um, in our leadership model and just that my success is your success and your success is my success and that we're we're going to do this together if we're going to do anything before you ask that question are you going with the players i'll let them get ready uh, one more question for oh, each of the players okay. um, what have you learned about uh, little rock that they have a pretty athletic team um that they are definitely going to give us a fight um they have been to the tournament multiple times i mean they are a really good team yeah, uh, super scrappy. I mean, we're just going to have to be aggressive but really composed when we play them, and um, we're going to have to play our best. They're really good. <laughs> yeah, um, they play, I mean, they're a team we haven't really played recently, uh, especially different than any other team in the conference, but they're athletic, like we said, and they're going to give us a fight, so. You have two common opponents, and you beat both of them, and they lost to them. But does that does that even play at all in your minds? Um, I mean, no. I think what's in our mind now is getting ready for tomorrow and getting ourselves focused and ready to play. We played those teams a long time ago. Mm -hmm. so. Thanks. Thank you. Oh yeah, Coach loves. Yeah. You got to take advantage. Me and Jim, we hang out a lot. Yes, yeah. we do. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, what uh, what are your thoughts of, of Little Rock? Obviously, great defense, and, and they don't take too many threes on the other end. No, um, you know they they have one player who shoots mm -hmm. shoots a nice percentage of it, but the rest of them they definitely don't. You know, they're disciplined in that. That's apparently not a strength, I, I'm guessing. And some people have a hard time staying disciplined to play to their strengths all the time. And these guys, that's not an issue for them. They do what they're good at. Um, you know, the Twins and Collier and, uh, you know, they, they don't play very many players. They, they have a, a tight, ro uh, tight rotation, extremely athletic. Um, the defense is, I mean, they're, they have great closing speed. I think that there are areas where we can be strong against them. I, I do think, you know, hopefully we'll give them problems eventually, you know, inside or, you know, on the perimeter in different ways. But they're, I, I'm not sure if they're defensive, you know, cohesion and closing speed and just aggressiveness or their ability to, um, you know, seek out early good shots and transition. I don't know which one is better. I mean, they're tough. It, it's a different draw. Jesse mentioned it, but we have athletic teams in our conference, but um, their athleticism is something that we haven't seen probably 
in the conference slate. I mean, we've likened them to some of the teams, but um, not as a collective effort. If you let them get on the glass, they're a problem. Um, we, we're going to have to keep them off the glass and um, you know, focus right now on what areas we can be strong and what, what things we do. And we've done all year long, we've done things collectively. And sometimes, obviously, there's sometimes a leading, there has to be a leading scorer. Um, but there are a variety of people who can make baskets, and um, there are a variety of people who can get stops. So, um, you know, we're just going to have to try to avoid them going one on one. Uh, that's going to be a thing because we, we, we like to play team defense and have somebody loaded up in the hole until you're right and you're left, so you're not solo out there just trying to go one on one against some of the best one on one players that we've seen. Um, but we're very excited for the game. I, I, again, in watching it, there are some trouble spots, but there are some areas that I think that we can be strong. I can't remember the last time you guys were a bona fide favorite in an NCAA game, not just based on seeding. Yeah, it's uh, been a while. It's been a while, so or if ever. What's that feel like? Respect-wise, um, obviously not overconfident, but still, it's a, it's a sign of well, what this team has done anyway. Definitely, I think, a positive as far as that goes. In some ways, it doesn't feel like that because um, our body of work shows that we should be wh what we're seeded. And then our recent circumstances, you know, have created something that's a little bit unknown for us. And I, I still think that it's the case. I still think that we have um, more than enough to, you know, prove that we're the correct seed and we should be here. But it has to be proven. And so I, I, I think we still maybe have a little bit of that, at least in my opinion. I don't know if the players feel this necessarily, but the coaching staff, we still feel like there's a little bit of that chip, not because someone else has slighted us, but because the life <laughs> life has thrown us some stuff the, the past week or so. And so um, I, I don't think that they're thinking, our players, sometimes they don't even know. you know. And there are some things that we um, don't tell them or don't overemphasize that we didn't play up too much the Missouri State and Western Kentucky thing because those games were a long time ago for us and uh, have been a while for these guys as well. But um, you know, they're just trying to figure out how to play, you know, like I said, for their lives, for their basketball lives and for this season. This team's life is dependent on how we show up tomorrow. And, um, you know, that's kind of the simplified task at hand. That's all I have. Thank you.